Apollonius Greek, Apollonios was the name of several physicians in the time of ancient Greece and Rome. Apollonius Antiochinus, or Apollonius of Antioch, was the name of two physicians, father and son, who were born at Antioch, and belonged to the Empiric school. They lived after Serapion of Alexandria, and before Monodotus, and therefore lived in the 2nd or 1st century BC. One of them is probably the physician called Apollonius Empiricus, the other may be Apollonius Sr. Apollonius Archistrator, was the author of a medical prescription quoted by Andromachus, and must therefore have lived in or before the 1st century BC. Nothing is known about the events of his life. Apollonius Biblas, lived probably in the 2nd century BC, and wrote, after Zeno's death, a book in answer to a work he composed on the meaning of certain marks that are found at the end of some chapters in the third book of the Epidemics of Hippocrates. It seems likely that he is not the same person as Apollonius Empiricus. His name is probably connected with the word bibliakos, and suggests that he was a bookworm. Apollonius Satensis, or Apollonius of Sidium, 1st century BC, the oldest commentator on Hippocrates whose works are still extant. See Apollonius of Sidium. Apollonius Claudius, must have lived in or before the 2nd century AD, as one of his antidotes is quoted by Galen. Nothing is known of his life. Apollonius Cyprius, or Apollonius of Cyprus, was the pupil of Olympicus, and the tutor to Julianus. He was a native of Cyprus, belonged to the Methodic school, and probably lived in the 1st century AD. Nothing more is known of his life. Apollonius Empiricus, perhaps one of the physicians called Apollonius Antiochinus. He lived, according to Celsus, after Serapion of Alexandria, and before Heraclides of Tarentum, and therefore probably lived in the 2nd century BC. He belonged to the Empiric school, and like Apollonius Biblas, wrote a book in answer to Zeno's work on the marks in Hippocrates. This was answered by Zeno, and it was this second work that drew from Apollonius Biblas his treatise on the subject after Zeno's death. He is also mentioned by Galen. Apollonius Glaucus, must have lived in or before the 2nd century AD, as his work on internal diseases is quoted by Caelius Aurelianus. Nothing is known of his life. Apollonius Herophilius, is perhaps the same person as Apollonius Muse. He wrote a pharmaceutical work entitled Peri Eucharistin, Latin, De Facile Parabilibus, and of which some fragments are quoted in Kramer's Anecd. Greca Paris, as still existing in manuscript in the Royal Library in Paris. He lived earlier than Andromachus who quotes him, and also before Archigenes, hence he may have lived in or before the 1st century BC. He was a follower of Orophilus, and is said by Galen to have lived for some time at Alexandria. His work, Peri Myron, on ointments, is quoted by Athenaeus, and he is also mentioned by Caelius Aurelianus. Apollonius Hippocraticus, is said by Galen, to have been a pupil of Hippocrates, and must therefore have lived in the 4th century BC. He is blamed by Erasistratus for his excessive severity in restricting the quantity of drink allowed to his patients. Apollonius Memphites, or Apollonius of Memphis, was born at Memphis in Egypt, and was a follower of Erasistratus. He must therefore have lived around the 3rd century BC, and is probably the same person as Apollonius Stratonicus. He wrote a work on the names of the parts of the human body, and is quoted by Aradianus, Galen, Nicolaus Myrepsis, and other ancient writers. Apollonius Muse, a follower of Orophilus. Nothing is known about his life, but he must have lived in the 1st century BC, as Strabo mentions him as a contemporary. He was a fellow pupil of Heraclides of Erythrae, and composed a long work on the opinions of the sect founded by Orophilus. He also wrote on pharmacy, and is perhaps the same person as Apollonius Herophilius. 
Apollonius Ophus, is said by Aradianus, to have made a compilation from the glossary of difficult Hippocratic words by Bacchius, he must therefore have lived about the 2nd or 1st century BC. He may be the same person as Apollonius Pergaminus, or Apollonius Thayer. Apollonius Organicus, is quote by Galen, and must therefore have lived in or before the 2nd century AD. Nothing is known of his life. Apollonius Pergaminus or Apollonius of Pergamon, is perhaps the same person as Apollonius Ophus, or Apollonius Thayer. He was born at Pergamon in Mysia, but his date is uncertain, he is quoted by Oribatius, and must have lived before the 4th century AD. He is probably the author of a long extract on scarification preserved by Oribatius. Apollonius Pitanius or Apollonius of Pitane, was born at Pitane in Aeolia, and must have lived into before the 1st century AD, as an absurd and superstitious remedy is attributed to him by Pliny. Apollonius Sr., is quoted by Aradianus, and must therefore have lived in or before the 1st century AD. He may be one of the physicians called Apollonius Antiochinus. Apollonius Stratonicus, was probably not the son, but the pupil, of Strato of Berita. He is likely the same person as Apollonius Memphites, and may have lived about the 3rd century BC. He was a follower of Erasistratus, and wrote a work on the pulse, which is quoted by Galen. Apollonius Taurensis or Apollonius of Tarsus, was born at Tarsus in Cilicia, and lived perhaps in the 1st or 2nd century AD. His prescriptions are several times quoted by Galen. Apollonius Thayer, is perhaps the same person as Apollonius Ophus or Apollonius Pergaminus. He is quoted by Aradianus, and must have lived in or before the 1st century AD. Another physician of this name, who is mentioned by Apuleius, as having been bitten by a mad dog, must, if he ever really existed, have lived in the 2nd century AD. The name occurs in several ancient authors, belonging to one or more physicians, without any distinguishing epithet. Topic. Notes Topic. Attribution This article incorporates text from a publication now in the public domain, Greenhill, William Alexander, 1870, Apollonius Physicians, in Smith, William, ed. Dictionary of Greek and Roman Biography and Mythology. I. 